the hat man. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again looking at Lenovo MP3 players, but this time, they're the new ones, I guess. These came out this year, surprisingly. The previous ones, which were these, were 2019 and 2020. It's gonna be interesting to see what changed, if anything, from then to now. Before we get into everything, uh, be sure to tickle that like button, blast that subscribe button, and crush that bell. Please and thank you. It all helps a lot. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, this one, this is the B611. These are both the C5, but this one on the right is the C5 Wi-Fi. It has a slightly smaller screen, but it has more features. Very strange. So, just like last time, I got these off of AliExpress. I can't seem to find any more information on them, or anywhere else to buy them, so... It's just like last time with these. Although, last time, the shipping was a lot, a lot worse. It took a month for these to show up, and this one got crushed. As you can see, I had to tape it back together. The product was fine, but the box was messed up. So that sucked. But this time, everything was mostly okay. This one had a bit of a bit of corner damage. They didn't come in boxes. None of these came in boxes. They came in damn plastic envelope things. But this time around, they're mostly intact. So, when it comes to the packaging, there's not a lot going on. They're all the same. You got basically basically nothing on all the sides. The front just has the picture and a weird name and some Chinese script. You've got a gray gr uh, box on the bottom half and white on the top half. And it does not extend to the sides. It's just the front. And then you have the Lenovo logo and no stickers. The other one had a Seal of Quality sticker. On the back, there's not a lot either. The seal of quality sticker is on the back this time, and you just have barcodes and then some basic information that doesn't not tell us much. So basically all it says is that the battery size, what kind of screen it has, the basic features, video. Yeah, there's barely basically nothing on the back. And one of these was put up was put together upside down. This one was put upside down. So for the B611, this and this and both C5s, they all have, as far as I can tell, micro SD card slot, and they all have Bluetooth, which is awesome. They also should all have a aux port for headphones. I went ahead and opened the C5 Wi-Fi early because I was super curious. I'll tell you more about it obviously later in the video, but I can confirm this has a headphone jack and USB-C. So all these also have USB-C, that's a given at this point in time, but I guess you never know with something random from China like this, but yeah, USB-C and they should have headphone jacks. So the B611 has a 420 milliamp hour battery. The regular C5 also has a 420 milliamp hour battery. But the C5 Wi-Fi has a 950 milliamp hour battery, and that might be because of the Wi-Fi usage that they anticipate you doing. I'm not sure, but a smaller screen for a bigger battery, not a bad trade-off. Okay, boys and girls, I think it's time to open up the boxes and see what we have inside. Let's start with the B611. We're gonna use our handy dandy lever action, uh, lever hunter edge co knife. So B611 is first. Whoop! They're all gonna be pretty much the same when they, when we open them. So I'll probably fast forward through some of this. I don't know. There's the device. That is, yeah, it's about the same size bezel as depicted. And it seems they all come with a little screen protector. See that? And there's the micro SD card slot. And there's the headphone jack. There's a what in the hell is that? Wait, what is this? Is that is that a speaker? Wait, hold on. What is going on here? I guess this is the micro SD card slot. And then this is a speaker? I don't remember if the other ones had speakers. They might have. We'll have to look at test that uh, soon. And then inside, we get a piece of paper. What does it have? Instructions. Yep, external speaker hole. Sweet. And then we get a little USB cable. And, oh, and look at that. A screen protector and a little rubber case. This is a glass sp screen protector too. That's That's pretty neat. So they want you to take care of this. Pretty cool. And then, eh, manual, all in Chinese. So let's put that back and let's open up the other ones. Ooh, this one's way bigger, physically. 
Look at that. It's got a little button here, which I can confirm is a back button. Looks like this also has a speaker hole. There's the micro SD card slot, headphone jack, USB-C, and just like the other one, three buttons. Inside, that's another manual. Man, these are printed like garbage, but <laughs> they're useful, at least. <laughs> they call it an external horn hole. The translation got a little weird there. And then just like before, screen protector and a little case. And a USB cable. Cool beans. And then the C5 Wi-Fi. Ooh, it got a little paper. It's a little, little bit different. Don't know what it says, but I think it talks about its features. The Wi-Fi stuff. This is Wi-Fi and QQ, which was on the menu. I'll probably translate it and put it on the screen. This is a about the same size. It actually looks like it has the same size screen despite the depictions on the uh, pictures. So that's pretty good. Oh, it does have a speaker. Like, all three have speakers. So this is basically the same thing but with a different operating system and features, uh, software-wise. Very, very strange. Very strange. Once again, we have the same stuff. Manual, case, glass screen protector. And that is all the little guys. I guess it's time to turn them on and show off the features. All right, the B611 is first. Let's turn this one on. Oh, this does not look like the uh, picture on the box. It's only got two screens, you can get to them by going left or right. Interesting. So this actually looks like the C C5 Wi-Fi. That's strange, I didn't expect that because the, the picture looks way different on the box. Ooh, very surprising. Is that a projector icon? Although I will say that the, the font is a lot worse. This looks like your standard font, and I can't read any of it. Ooh, I found the language. Hey, okay, I have it in English now. I wonder if the icons will change. Oh, the icons changed. They did not change on the C5 Wi-Fi. Okay, so we got a calendar. Let's click on that. Okay, maybe not a calendar, but it has the date and time, so you, you can probably change that in the settings. Music, recording, English to Chinese dictionary. Actually, four different options for dictionary. They got a Bluetooth setting right on the menu. You got... <laughs> Video, your ebooks. Oh, there's the calendar. It's separate from the other thing. File browser. Oh, so this projector looking thing is the radio. Stopwatch and wallpaper changer, which is kind of useless because of how big the icons are. And this actually is just like the um, Arcos 3 vision that we just looked at maybe a month ago or so. And that also had a wallpaper randomizer on the home screen. So the calendar, you just look at stuff, it doesn't really do anything. Calculator. Basic calculator, no advanced mathematics here. How do I go back? I think it uses gestures. That's that's strange. It uses gestures just like Android. I, I guess iOS has it. Well, I'll say smartphones then. So you swipe from the left to go back. Or the right, apparently, depending on the app, I guess. Alright, this is very interesting. Not a whole lot else to look at, though. So we'll put that to the side. And let's fire up the uh, C5 base model. Okay, this looks more like the picture. This doesn't look like the picture, but then the C5 does. We got stolen icons, just like before, and a very basic um, animation for changing pages, just like before. But it seems a little slower, because the text has to load separately. It doesn't do that on the B611. It, if it does, it's way faster. So let's try to go to the settings, <laughs> the iOS settings apparently, and change the language. You can set a password on these guys. That's useful, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't put anything important on here other than just my music. Display settings. Style of main menu. Style 2? Oh, what the hell? That's strange. Okay, so there is a little more thought put into this main menu, unlike the previous versions. Although these icons are pretty low resolution. So you got... The same as before, for the most part. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff, except for the lack of a um, home menu date and time thing. Yeah, see, th this little guy is not on the bigger one. It's weird, I, I feel like these should all have feature parity, but I guess not. You can't click on the bar. Eh, whatever. <laughs> There's no software version. What the hell? There's nothing in the information. Let's look at B611 again. Looks like it runs the same thing. It's got the same uh, look and, and feel. And no software information. Awesome. So these two run the same homemade operating system type thing, but they don't have feature parity. They're mostly the same, but not quite. This one also has the uh, secondary menu style. And then the icons go back to the, uh, the, stolen, the half stolen ones as well. Interesting. Now C5 Wi-Fi is where things get way more interesting. Check this out. Right, oh, that's weird. This, this one's brighter right off the bat. I didn't change that. Come on, load up. Awesome. 
So this looks more, this looks similar to the B611's main menu, uh, the first style, except uh, I don't think you, you, you can't change the style, plus there's an animation when you swap screens. Look at that. So this already feels more premium. Now this is in English already. I set it to English and it does not change the icons, so the icons, are, the, the text in them is baked in, which uh, it sucks, but at least the, most, most icons are discernible. Not all though. Like, I don't know what this robot is. And it's one of the connected apps, so that needs Wi-Fi. And then you have this little one. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this 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 is. This might be dictionary. And I don't know what this is. The QQ thing that we saw on the little piece of paper earlier. I think it's like an internet radio thing based on how it looks on the inside. Oh, look at that. These are different services that uh, I can recognize. They got Billboard uh, and Apple Music. Can you connect your different services here? Uh, I guess. I don't know. You might have to do a deeper dive in, in its own separate video. Yeah, because there's a lot of substantial stuff here. I didn't expect so much internet connected stuff. I saw this little guy on the, on the main box, but I don't know. I didn't expect so many Wi-Fi connected apps. You know, I'm using the top camera right now, high top camera, but I, I, I kind of forgot about it while I've been recording, so there's probably not a whole lot of top shots. I may have spliced in a few, but uh, I forgot to utilize it more during this recording session. So I might just turn it off right now and go to the Google Translate app and start translating some of these titles so I can tell you right now what they are. So uh, I guess, um, bye bye top camera. Yeah, like I like I mentioned in the past, the top camera is my G6, LG G6. Yeah, I'm kind of poor, but eventually I'll have new equipment, just not right now. Installing Google Translate right now. Okay, it's installed. Let's get to translating, shall we? Okay, so this blue one on the bottom in the middle says Chinese studies and then the one with the book is dictionary the one with the green on the on the right is a, a glossary <laughs> the one in the middle is palm reading online what in the world is that a common Chinese thing palm reading and then Himalayas is the purple left one I don't know what that means I'll have to we'll have to look that up oh I didn't translate the QQ one QQ music I guess is what that says. So QQ Music and Himalayas are two Chinese apps we need to look into. What in the world? This robot one says AI Assistant. What the hell? Okay, so this green one on the left just says ebook. So I guess that makes sense. I'm not sure why the at symbol is in there, but all right. Okay, and that one's just video, okay. So we pretty much got everything important translated. So yeah, that's this guy. Now, here's the little secret. Check out this menu. Look familiar? It should. This is Android 4. Let's click on About Device. Legal Information. Open Source Licenses. Opening Source Licenses. Yep. There's evidence. The Android Open Source Project. So yeah, this thing runs what I believe is Android 4, but a custom version of it. So this is actually the most interesting solution to an operating system uh, on these these Lenovo MP3 players so far. It is a pleasant surprise, and <laughs> I would say this is the best one so far. The C5 Wi-Fi. I adore this. It runs smooth, it's got so many features. I don't know if you can trust the Chinese apps it has that connects to Wi-Fi, but hey, it's got <laughs> Wi-Fi connection. You can't do internet browsing or anything, but yeah, man, it's Android. It's freaking Android 4 in 2023. That is nuts. So that's the Lenovo MP3 players, or, or I guess DMPs, because they're digital media players. And here's the old ones right next to the new ones. So what do you guys think of these things? I think they're pretty dope for the most part, with the C5 Wi-Fi being the best of the bunch. Now, I don't have any stuff loaded on them, so I can't, I'm not gonna really test how fast they are, but if you guys really, really, really want me to review them in one, in one more extra big video with all three of them on how they handle daily usage, I can do that, but I'm not gonna do that right now so if you really want that leave a thumbs up and leave a comment and if someone else already commented up both that comment and comment on that comment so uh yeah that's uh that's that that's all that's really all uh, there is to say about it so if you enjoyed uh, this look at weird lenovo technology be sure to once again like subscribe and hit that bell uh if you want to it helps a lot and i appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video next time will probably be the microsoft band but you know that's subject to change so uh stay tuned for whatever the hell's next it'll be interesting i promise at least it'll be interesting to me if it's, if it's not interesting to you well i have a solution for that
<laughs> so you better like the video. I'm joking, of course. All right, peace out, guys. See you next time.